It's officialfnradio.com. People have been wondering about some shit. Wondering about all kinds of stuff. I mean, you know, they're asking us, hey guys, what's up with this dude? What's up with that dude? The most recent dude, his name is Gavin. Gavin. You may have seen him at events. You may have. You may have even seen him online. You might have. And you are still asking yourself, who the fuck is Gavin? Well, let's fucking show you instead of talking about it. Hmm? Yeah. This is my homeboy Gavin. What's up, man? Gavin, what band are you in, man? I'm in Thinning the Herd. Thinning the Herd. Now, how long has Thinning the Herd been in a, a band together? How long have you guys been doing this? Since uh, 2007. We, uh, late 2006. We've been gigging since uh, 2008. Right on. Right on. And so, uh, what are you guys working on right now? You got an album out? What's up? Yeah, man. We're mixing our album. It's a nine-song LP called Ocean's Rise. And uh, it's mixed by uh, Jason Lafarge of uh, Seizures Palace Studios. And we're mixing this week. We've done all the tracking. It's, it's, we're really excited about it. Can't wait to hear it, yeah, really Can't wait to hear it. So, like, what's next? What are you guys going to do? Are you guys going to go on tour? Um, yeah, we're looking for a label representation because we've been an indie label. We're out on St. Mark's Records right now. And we're going to, uh, you know, start courting record labels and then start a mini tour. You right know? on, right yeah. on. You guys interested in coming to Connecticut? Fuck yeah. All right, sweet. If we can work it out, man, I'll let you know. Definitely sure. do it, man. I'll help you there. Sure, definitely do, do that. We, we, we so, uh, travel to Massachusetts now. Where, where do you guys get your inspiration as far as music-wise? Hmm. All, all over the place, you know? I mean, I love um, I love all types of music, but I, I'm really into like um, the early grunge music. I love uh, you know ACDC, and, uh, you know Soundgarden, Nirvana, uh, Sleep, High on Fire, Ohm, bands like that. Um, but I also listen to a lot of like old school reggae and different types of shit. So I get a lot of like our kind of vibe that way, you know, where I, I try to come up with a feeling for our songs. Sure. You know, but I've been really into Clutch and like, right all sorts of cool. So, what goes into writing a, a song? You know, is it a whole band process or one or two guys? Or? Um, well, yeah, usually I write songs with my uh, with my bassist. He'll he'll come by and he'll he'll uh, he'll he'll uh, he's he's an engineer. He does engineering. He used to work for SIR and different you know places. So he just did Jay Z's uh, at the Garden, you know. But he comes by and I usually have ideas. You know, I usually write lyrics and I write guitar lines and he'll. You know, come up with like kind of like a tempo and a beat, and then I'll come up with like a vibe. Like I'll, I'll say I want the song to represent air or earth, or I want it to feel like we're going through a mountain chain, and then we see an opening, and then there's a lake. You know, so it's a lot of elemental things. Right it's less uh, less about just the genre. Sure. You know, but sure. everything I write is real heavy, and it's like kind of you know, kind of down tempo, doomy. You know, but sure, yeah. but it still has that um, that element of you know, like the ethers or yeah. earth or fire. Or, you know, sure, that's, that's what I go for. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, where, we can, where can we find your music? Uh, you can find it on myspace.com slash Castro's Beard, or you go to iTunes and download the, uh, the album that way. Absolutely. And make, make sure you guys Facebook, do that, because, you know, that's important to you guys, right? Like, yeah, Straight man. up to you guys, yep, you know, yeah, and that's, yeah. that's important. Yeah, I mean, we, we have minor distribution out in, uh, in uh, Europe, you know, and we, we're looking for distribution right now. Um, but, you know, basically we're doing it ourselves right now. Uh, yeah. Like, out of the trunk, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And so how do you guys feel about MySpace and Facebook and the new Technologies. It's great, man. Social networking, dude. It's fucking. It's it's what what we got now. You know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, aside for going out to the shows like I do, it's really about uh, you know networking, making friends, just being a cool guy, and you know absolutely. getting people to come out to the show. Where is your favorite venue to play? We love the Trash Bar, man. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 You know, I like I like all, all places. You know, we play at Ace of Clubs in the city. It's a great place to play. I like I like dives. I like Lit Lounge. You know, we play Metal Mondays there sometimes, and uh, you know, Ace of Clubs. Clubs, like I said, um, all over the place, man. You know. Are you guys interested in playing any clubs? In Southern <laughs> I already <Connecticut>? said that. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Let's get us out there. You know, Absolutely. let us know, man. I want to. I want to get some more people out there. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm booking a metal show soon, so well, I will let me know. Let, let, let me you know. guys you know. know. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do that shit. Yeah, we travel all the time. Like we play out in Long Island sometimes. You know. Right on, yeah, right we, on. We play, we play all over the place. Like I said, we just played Massachusetts, so I travel around, you Fuck know. Fuck yeah, man. Well, well listen, FN Radio is here to help you guys however we can. Yeah, we That's love you. That's what we do, so. Uh, yeah, Global exposure is the best thing we can That's possibly right. Absolutely, yeah, man. Anything we can do to help, you let us know. Thank you so oh, much. Absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah. Thank absolutely. you again. Right Thank you so much. Everyone's great meeting you guys. Person, you know? Thank you so much, man. We'll be in touch and we'll be listening. I love sure. it, man. We get a group shot, we need Yo, we need an artist drop right now. We need your name, the band you're from and you're rocking on officialfnradio.com, okay. please. I'm Gavin. I'm from Thinning the Herd. I'm rocking out on official FN fucking radio, motherfucker. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, and they're playing March 
March 12th here at the Trash Fire. Family, 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 me, mom and daddy. Hold on, I'll take a still shot of this. That'll look sweet. It's cocaine, baby. <laughs> Don't move anywhere. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Walmart. Cheese. My cookies are frozen. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> yeah, right? Our chickens are done. It's hotter than tea. Gavin, I have a quick question for you. I couldn't miss this job. So pleased. Where did you get the name from? From thinning the herd? Yeah. Um, well, I, it's a Darwinian term, you know. It's it's like the, the, the selective process of, uh, of eliminating of elimination. A species, a species. But actually, I was uh, coming. I was trying to come up with band names, and one day I was listening to the radio. I was listening to XM Radio. Okay. It was a talk show, and the guy just said randomly, like, "Oh, I guess they're just thinning the herd," and it just like kind of echoed in my brain. Yeah. And yeah. And it became one of the top, li you know, on the list. You know. It's funny because lately, with actually all the tragedy that is going on in Chile and all these other countries, earthquakes, tsunamis, and everything, I'm hearing the term more and more, "thinning the herd," "thinning the herd," and it's funny because I say, "I know that band," and I said, "I have to." ask you if that's like kind of what it was representing you know um, yeah we it was a little bit before then yeah. you know but yeah, you know, I'm all about that <laughs> that's yeah. that's somebody gave me a flyer for Friday and I'm like I'm not busy on Friday and we'll come back to the trash part thing yeah. and I heard this playing well really I haven't heard them before and now I'm talking to you so it's you crazy go. I'll be here on Friday yeah. and I saw him that's live here cool. and they were awesome oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. will be They're here awesome. on Friday I'm gonna try to get as many uh Two or three years as I came down here. Smoking the stogie. Yeah, buddy. We'll it's try. We're gonna try. It's a troop. It is a troop. But yeah, come on out. Here. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'll come on. I think I'm gonna have a ticket down to the city again. Nice. <laughs> Just <laughs> down to the city. Really? Yeah, we'll come oh, to you man. next time. You know? Connecticut. Well, I mean, Let really, us know. Seriously, I, we'll come out. Absolutely. I'm booking. And honestly, I'm booking a metal show. So. Let me know, man. We can play. So we need contact there. info, like for real. Like if we really want you to guys you play guys in Danbury. You guys are on MySpace and Facebook. Yeah, and just do Facebook, Gavin Spielman. That's He's us. under my name too, man. Okay, so yeah, I'll yeah. find yeah. you through you, and then we'll yeah, just put it on Facebook, and I'm on top. Just trading everything. Just do a direct, you know, friendly. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. I work for a company called. Thank you. Um, I work for a promotions company called Subverse Party. So I will absolutely throw your CD over to them. You go, listen in. Hey, let's book them for the metal show. Come on, let's do this. So that'll be awesome. I'll give you a CD and a shirt next week. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Out. Remember my face. Nice with you guys. Thank you so much. Well, on the mic. Number top, one rating. Top rated top show on the North. Talking with thinning the herd. Yeah. yeah. Woo. The city's own. I like out here. Yeah, I like that.